I'm Ms. Artastic and in this video art tutorial we're going to be drawing an art teacher. So grab your favorite art making mediums and let's make some art. Don't forget that you can find all my fully planned and engaging art lessons in my TPT store. Simply search Ms. Artastic on TPT. All right, we're gonna be drawing our art teacher with this lovely design. So, here we go. Now, the best thing is that we're all gonna draw different art teachers because all art teachers are so very different. All right, we're gonna begin with giving our art teacher some hair. So we're gonna put our art teacher's hair in a ponytail here. Now, my art teacher has curly hair, so I'm gonna give my art teacher some curly hair. And of course, it's in a ponytail, so actually maybe it's a scrunchie, so I'm gonna draw a nice little scrunchie there and draw the ponytail coming out out of the scrunchie. Perfect. Can add some texture in your hair. So if it's straight, you can add straight lines. If it's curly, you can add some curling texture in there. Whatever you want, it's up to you on how you draw your art teacher's hair. Actually, maybe I'm gonna make this a rainbow scrunchie because after all, it's a rainbow scrunchie. So I'm gonna draw some lines in there because that way I can make it a rainbow. All right, here we go. Let's draw our art teacher's face. We have to give our art teacher a nice little ear here. And we're gonna draw an oval or a nice part of an oval or you can think about it as like the bottom of a U. I'm gonna draw a nose on my art teacher. Now you can draw whatever kind of nose you want. I'm just gonna use a nice little pointy nose shape. I'm gonna give my art teacher some eyes. So I'm gonna draw one big circle and a slightly smaller circle as it's farther away on the other side. And I'm gonna give my art teacher a huge smile because art teachers are super stoked because they get to be teaching art every day. Hello. All right, little corners in the mouth there. And we're gonna draw a lowercase m inside the mouth for the tongue and color in the dark of the mouth with a black Oh yeah. In the eye, I'm gonna draw another circle in each eye. And in that circle, I'm gonna draw a smaller circle and that's gonna stay white. And I'm gonna color this middle circle black, but you can do whatever color you want. It's really up to you. All right, give your art teacher some eyebrows. And if you want, you can give your art teacher some earrings. My art teacher is going to be wearing paint palette earrings because um, art teachers love to wear art types of things. So there we go, my art teacher's wearing some paint palette earrings. We can give our art teacher a nice little neck with two lines down. And now we're going to give our art teacher an outfit. So you can draw whatever kind of outfit you want to draw. If your art teacher is more of a robot, maybe you're gonna draw a robot body or some sort of crazy um, Van Gogh dress. Or maybe your art teacher wears lots of black pants and t-shirts and you can give your art teacher some Converse shoes, black pants and t-shirts. Uh, it's whatever you want to do. Uh, my art teacher is going to be wearing a nice flowy top here. So I'm gonna draw two arms out. And it has a belt, nice big art teacher belt. So I'm gonna draw a belt around her waist, just like that. And she's wearing a pleated sort of skirt. So I'm gonna draw a pleated skirt. And of course, it's gonna be a rainbow as well. Okay, and then I'm just gonna draw two little legs coming out at the bottom with some shoes. Oh yeah. All right, 
my art teacher is going to be holding um, some giant art making mediums. So I'm gonna have her little arms sticking out this shirt that she's wearing here. And the first thing that she's gonna be holding is a giant paintbrush. So I'm gonna draw the top of the giant paintbrush here. And then I'll have her little fingers wrapped around on the other side, just peeking over. I'll draw the metal part that holds the bristles of the paintbrush to the wood. And then we'll add some bristles there, just like that. All right, on this side, maybe, oh yeah, she needs a palette to go with that paintbrush. So she's holding, of course, the world's biggest paint palette. Okay, she's kind of an extra art teacher. Okay. Draw the little thumb hole here. And of course we need to add those paint splats onto our paint palette to make it extra painterly. All right, we need to draw something lovely on our art teacher's um, shirt here. So maybe she has a Van Gogh Starry Night shirt just like that. I'm just gonna draw a simple little Starry Night scene because art teachers love to wear clothes that Resemble artworks, of course. We'll have a starry night flowing in the background of her shirt. All right, and once you're done, you can grab something to outline your art teacher with. So I'm gonna grab a black felt marker and I'm just going to go around the outline of my artwork to thicken up the lines, make them bold and beautiful and stand out. And once you're done outlining your art teacher, you are ready to color him or her or they all in. So you grab your choice of art making mediums and colors and go ahead and color in your amazing art teacher.
once you're done, of course, we do need to shade in our lovely art teacher. So, to make our most amazing art teacher just stand right out here, we are gonna add some shading and we're gonna use our lovely gray uh, felt marker, or if you don't have a gray felt marker, you can use a black wax crayon or a gray wax, wax crayon, or you could use a black pencil crayon and just shade lightly with any of those. First, we're gonna shade along the underside of the paint on our palettes. Oh, look at that, I did not even do the paint on the earrings, my goodness. Let's do that real quick here, add some color. Okay. Um, so just the underside of the paint on the palette. along the bottom edge of the palette. Any places that overlap, you can shade the hair along the bottom of the face, around the eyes to make her uh, him or her or they extra cute, around the nose, the bottom of the shirt, under the belt, I'm going to do the pleats on the skirt because my art teacher is wearing a skirt, but your art teacher might be having a completely different outfit. So you shape whatever makes sense for your um, drawing. I'm going to shade my pencil brush that my art teacher is holding. Again, you shade whatever elements make sense to your artwork. I got a color in those shoes because I think I missed them as well. And once you're done shading your lovely art teacher, your art teacher artwork is done. Hey art teachers, that's the end of this episode. If you are an art teacher and you're looking for a full art curriculum, know that the Artastic Collective is currently open for enrollment just for a limited time, so make sure that you head on over to www artasticcollective.com or hit the link in the description of this video and check out my full Ms. Artastic curriculum which is going to provide you with monthly releases of new art lessons that are not cookie cutter for your classroom. They are really designed to draw out the true essence of artists and artists, our art movements um, from art history. So make sure you head on over to artasticcollective.com and check out my curriculum. It's open every August and right now is your time to join and enroll and be set for the year knowing that you are done lesson planning and that you'll have directed drawings for your classroom, a year-long growth course designed for art teachers, and a community forum full of your art teacher friends. So. If you're an art teacher, head on over to artasticcollective.com right now, click the link in the description of the video, and join the Artastic Collective, which is the Ms. Artastic curriculum specifically designed for art teachers.